Emily and go get some drone footage. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did not sleep well at all last night. <clears throat> Partially because I fell asleep in my chair. Mostly because my wife wasn't here and when you sleep next to someone for the last three decades and they're not next to you when you sleep, you just don't sleep the same. So I didn't sleep good. I did FaceTime the wife this morning. She does get to come home tonight. Um, it's going to be a late night. And um, but she will be home tonight around 10, maybe 9.30, 10 o'clock. It sucks living next to a car dealership. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so I was super stoked. She told me, well, I get to come home tonight. It's going to be a late night for her. Meetings all day. Um, she already did a trade show. Now she's got meetings all day. All the way until the evening. Um, they, they literally do meetings through breakfast, lunch, and dinner meetings all day long. And then she gets to head home after the final meeting, the dinner meeting. And uh, she'll get here from 9.30, 10 o'clock, which at least I'll sleep better. And she will, too, because she hasn't been sleeping good in her hotel room. But I did FaceTime this morning. We got to have a chat. Well, actually, we talked FaceTime for about an hour. And uh, so I'm happy. It's going to be a good day. And it's muggy out. That rain. It rained so hard yesterday. So hard. Ridiculous amounts of rain just dumped on this little town. But, so now it's kind of muggy. It's still very wet out. Very, very wet out. It's just kind of moist. I know people who don't like that word, which I find it funny to... To not like a word just kind of confuses me. I, I don't understand what it is about like a word like like the word moist. Maybe it's how people say it that they don't like. Because <clears throat> some people, you know, I mean, I've heard people say words that didn't quite sound right, but the word itself didn't bother me. It was the way the person said it. So maybe if someone said moist, moist, maybe <laughs> maybe that's frustrating. You know, like if. You know, at Edna, it's like, can you hand me a moist towelette? Then, then, then I can understand if the way Aunt Edna says moist makes you want to throw off a bridge. Okay, and then is, you know, speaks with a lisp, but, but the word itself <coughs> did nothing to you. And so, you shouldn't hate the word. You should hate the person saying the word. You shouldn't do that either. It's a terrible thing to say. Bad advice, Steve. Don't ever give advice to the camera anymore. Just don't. So anyway, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about again. I'm going to get the drone ready, and I'm going to fly across this vast, open, massive town of 4,000 people smack dab in the cornfields of Illinois. It's beautiful here. It's really not beautiful here. It's just a small town. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next clip. Where's my daughter? She's probably doing it musically.
It is so hot, <laughs> so hot and just sticky and ugh. I know I complain about the heat. I don't mind dry heat and, you know, summertime hot. With this muggy, humid, I hate that. And so I'm complaining and whatever. Anyway, I am having so much fun with this drone and, and ju just, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to plug Unique absolutely for sure. If you want a drone that is super easy to fly, super fun to fly, has FPV, this thing has a video downlink from my GoPro to the transmitter. I see everything the camera sees. I know when I'm above the trees, um, every once in a while, if I'm unsure. And today, I, I knew I was above the trees. I was 145 feet up in the air. Um, I knew I was above all the trees and buildings and wires and everything, no problem. It is just... For, for for shots like that, like the shot I just did, and and I'm just riding around town on my bicycle with the transmitter. I, I know what's going on up there, and I know how things, you know, everything's fine up there. And it's still not so far up in the air that I can't even hear it. I can hear it up there. Um, I mean, barely. It won't go over trees. I don't hear it at all. But I, so I know everything's okay. Um, so ease, you got this this ease of of flying. You don't have to worry about it. Well, you do have to worry about it crashing if you're not careful. But but with shots like that, you put it up in the air. Your 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 telemetry on your screen tells you exactly how high up in the air you are. It tells you what settings the GoPro's in. Um, it gives you GPS coordinates. And and the cool thing about this, this thing has a return to home option. So if you flip it, if things start going wrong or or you lose. Uh, um, sight of it or, or or orientation or something's going wrong flip it into return to home and it's going to go home 
Um, so th there's that. But also, say if the return to home didn't work, or say if this thing hit something as it's returning home. Uh, there's the telemetry on the screen has GPS coordinates, so you can Google those GPS coordinates and go find your drone. So it's just there's there's ease and comfort in knowing that it has all these options and all these things to to give you a better flying experience. So I would say as a first time if you are a first time flyer and you wanna you want good practice plus plus the peace of mind knowing that that if things go wrong there's all sorts of solutions that they've incorporated into this this drone the unique the unique typhoon series and they've got the 4k series they've got the g so you can use your gopro you can use your hero 4 for 4k footage um typhoon unique typhoon's got it's a great great quadcopter i've had such a great experience with it so anyway that footage was fun that footage was fun i just put this thing 145 feet up in the air and i took off me and my daughter took off on our bike and we just rode around town around down the streets and it's it was fun so so there's that uh, we've got to get it all charged up and we'll probably um get into another flight later on today uh the rest of the week probably will not be this muggy um which is good and what and and you know it's the weekend's gonna be fantastic well for one it's father's day weekend so i usually get together with all my children <laughs> and um so it's Father's Day weekend. My wife comes home tonight. We get we get to spend Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday together. As I've said 101 times, I'm not working through the summer, and my wife is is getting those days off, uh, sort of off. I'm sure she'll get loads of calls from her employees and things like that, but she'll still get to be at home with us. Um, her job, you know, pulls her away every once in a while with phone calls and such, and. But she's gone through so many meetings this weekend. I don't think she'll be having meetings for a while. Um, like that. So, alrighty. It's blazing. i got to turn my air back on in here. i got to get this stuff charged up. And uh, I think me and Emily are going to hit the bikes again, go on a little bike ride. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> are you feeling a bike ride, or is it too... Uh, I want it. It's just so hot. Yeah. It's just so muggy. And Look at this I window. Horrible this window is all moist moist from my air conditioner being on so the the muggies out there and the cool is in here and it makes for a very moist window do you hate that word no, no? Mm -mm. some people do i talked about it earlier I want a snack. you want a snack i want a, snack. I want a monster I want so a i think i'm gonna go get a monster I want a snack. you want some ice cream I, want a snack. I, want a snack. I think she's i think she's having a stroke I want a snack. Why not? I shouldn't joke about that. I joke about that far too often. I, I, I say that all the time. Like when I fumble on my words, oh, I just had a stroke. Or when she acts goofy, I, I shouldn't say that. I say it all the time. Th those things are not funny. I say it all the time. What if I really have a stroke? And then I'm on droopy. I'm like, see, there I go making fun again. I'm just going to go before I offend <laughs> someone. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Well, I doubt... <laughs>
we have decided it's too hot for bike riding. So we're going to golf cart cruise and I'm going to go get a time lapse. If I can find my stupid key to get in the house. What the heck is it? Yeah. One key. I got it. Got it. Don't worry about it. Got it. It's going to feel good now though. Man. No. It's so refreshing. You just walk in and it's just chilly and dark. It's always dark in our house. And the reason it's dark in our house is because it's not like we don't have loads of windows and it's always bright in the kitchen because we have big bushes on one side of the house, a huge tree out front and two huge trees in the back. So our house is very shaded. That's why sometimes it stays so nice and cool, but it's always dark in here. Hold it, hold it tight, ready? There you go. So we're gonna golf cart cruise and uh, I'm gonna get a time lapse. And I'm like super excited. My wife comes home today, tonight. It makes me happy. I'll sleep better. And I'll, and, and I'll give her extra snuggles uh, when we're sleeping. I was thirsty. It's always sad though. This is the bottom of the can. It's depressing. I don't want to get the golf cart this time. Okay. All right, I'm going to get the golf cart, and I will see you guys in the next clip. Gundam. Yeah, I'm getting the golf cart. I just had to come in here and get a tripod. Look, I got a new, I got a new tripod. I got this new mini. It extends the legs there extend. It's, it's almost just like this one here, except it's a mini. It's got the level on it and it tilts and the legs extend and it's my, my new mini tripod that uh, I think it's amazing because I can, that's very portable and, um, and it kind of acts like my big tripod and uh, yeah, so awesome. And uh, I, I, I really, I really cannot wait to get into that Gundam build. So looking forward to that. I am, I'm probably going to do a video of that this weekend sometime. Anyway, i got to get the golf cart. Say something funny. Nothing funny to say. Not a laughing matter. Tell me a joke. No. <laughs> I don't know any jokes. Well, just skip your lunch meeting or your dinner meeting tonight and come home now. But then I won't know if we get to go to Cancun. This is true. Alright, I guess you have to stick it through. Just wait it out. If we get to go to Cancun, that'd be awesome. Isn't it like Cancun, Mexico, or where is Cancun? Yeah. You, we'll have to, um, we'll have until February to work on our beach body. Does that mean we don't need a passport? We're going to need a passport to go to Mexico, don't you? Yeah. I, well, I don't know. I don't know if you do or not. I just got done FaceTiming my wife for like an hour and a half. We FaceTime. I had to plug my phone in. <laughs> it was starting to go dead. Uh, she's got a long wait in between um, her lunch meeting and her dinner meeting. Um, 
so she's just kind of chilling in her hotel room. She gets to come home tonight. It won't be until later tonight, but it will. she'll still be home, so I'll be able to sleep better. She'll be able to sleep better. Looking forward to having her back home. Uh, so three days gone. Not, not two. I mean, it still sucked, but anyway. Anyway, guys, that's going to end today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my daily vlog, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.